Open. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hello class! How are you today? Are you all safe and healthy this time? My dear students, are you all excited for our today's lesson? But before we proceed to our next lesson, let us have a short recap. Do you know the game Fact or Bluff? Well, let's begin. Identify the following statement if it is fact or bluff. Meaning, fact if the statement is correct and bluff if it is not. Shout out class! Fact or bluff? Nice one! Number one, distance refers to the length of the interpath that object travel. Is it a fact or bluff? You got it right. Number two, the standard unit of speed is meter. Is it a fact or bluff? Currently, if an object does not change its position at a given interval of time, then it is at rest or it has zero speed. Is it a fact or bluff? You got it right. Number four, displacement is an example of a scalar quantity. Is it a fact or bluff? Correct. Number five, vector has both magnitude and direction. Is it a fact or bluff? Correct. Wow, you really understood our lesson last time. And because of that, you deserve a big star. Size exercise na ba kayo? Come on, join me and try to imitate this motion. Let's start. I want you to remember those moves. Hey class, I'm here! Oops. Observe what I am doing with my hand. Take a closer look on my hand. Similar gestures does my hand make? Correct! All hand gestures are waving. Yes. Our objectives number one. 
Number one, illustrate the waves produced. Number two, identify the types of waves according to the direction of motion of the vibrating particles with respect to the direction in which the waves travel. Number three, Realize the importance of waves in our daily life. Materials needed. We need colored ribbon, rope at least 5 meters long, coiled spring, paper boat, basin filled with water, and a ball pen and paper. For the procedures, letter A, transverse wave. Number 1. Straighten the rope and tie one end of the rope on a rigid or fixed object. Attach a colored ribbon or any small piece of cloth on one part of the rope. Hold one end of the rope and vibrate it up and down. You would be able to observe a pulse. Number two, draw sketches of the rope showing the motion of the wave. Draw an arrow to represent the directions of the pulse motion. Letter B, longitudinal waves. Number one, place a pulse spring on the table. You can also use a spring of your notebook as an alternative coil spring or slinky toy. Tie a red ribbon or any part of the spring. Attach one end of the coil spring to the wall while you hold the other end. Number two, Ask any member of the family to vibrate the end of the coil spring by a back and forth motion parallel to the length of the spring. Observe the waves along with the coil spring. Draw on how the coil spring looks like as you move it back and forth. For letter C surface waves, number one, place basin filled with water on the table. Wait until the water becomes motionless. Tap the surface of the water with your index finger. Observe. Number two, draw the pattern of the wave produced on your paper and mark the source of the disturbance. Number three, wait for the water to become motionless. Place your paper boat and observe what happened. Then tap the water continuously. So class, I'll give you three minutes to finish your output. A few moments later. Okay class, time is up. Let us now discuss the result of your activity. For the transverse wave, a posture drawing. Wow, very good. You did an excellent job. From the activity in the transverse wave, let us answer the following questions. Number one, what is the source of the wave pulse? Correct! It is the quick shake of one end of the rope. How about number two? Describe the motion of your hand as you create the pulse. Very good! It is a quick up and down movement of the hand. Number three, does the vibration travel in the same direction as the wave? Correct. No, it vibrates up and down perpendicular to the direction in which the wave travels. Number four, does the wave transport the colored ribbon from its original position to the end of the rope? You got it right. No, the colored ribbon moves up and down repeatedly. Therefore, waves in a rope are called transverse waves because in the individual segments of the rope vibrate perpendicular to the direction in which the wave travel. It moves up and down. One example of transverse wave is an earthquake waves. Now, what about the longitudinal waves? Let us see your drawing. Awesome! You got it right. For longitudinal wave, question number one. 
Describe the vibration of the colored ribbon. Well said. Because the colored ribbon moves back and forth repeatedly. Number two. How does it move as the wave passes by? Well said. It moves parallel to the direction of the wave. Therefore, in this activity, each portion of the coil spring is vibrating parallel to the direction in which the wave travels. So, it is longitudinal wave. Waves move back and forth. How about the third activity, which is the surface wave? Let us see your drawing. Correct. Number one. What caused the boat set into motion? Very good. The wave moved the paper boat. Energy is required to set the boat into motion. Number two. Describe the movement of the paper boat after tapping the surface with greater strength. Well said. The wave carried more energy causing the paper boat to vibrate strongly. Number three, does the wave transport water molecules from the source of vibration? Correct. No, the water molecules are not transported from the source of vibration. Water molecules move in circular pattern with respect to its original position as waves pass by. Therefore, waves on the surface of the body our combination of the transverse wave and longitudinal wave. Each water molecules move in a circular pattern. Remember class, that the types of waves according to the direction of the vibrating particles are transverse wave, longitudinal wave, surface wave. They all need medium to generate or propagate. You perform well in today's activity. You did a great job. Congratulations, guys. Class, it seems that you are all wondering why I am wearing like this. Mm, it's because we will combine all the types of waves through dancing. I'll teach you how. Come on, join me. So may I request everyone to please stand. Put your hands on your side. Then move up and down. And on the other side, move up and down. Put your hands on your chest and move left and right. Then put your hands above your head and rotate and rotate. Then let's repeat from the top. Transverse, transverse, longitudinal, surface. Transverse, transverse. Great! You are all side dancers. It is really important to be healthy and strong especially during this pandemic. Eating healthy foods is not enough, but you still need proper exercise. You can perform this together with your family before starting any activities or even during your MAPI class. Wait, wait, wait! We're not yet done. Let's answer this. Identify the kinds of waves shown in the picture. Write whether it is transverse, longitudinal or surface waves. Are you all done? Let's check your answer. Very good. You are all genius. Oops, there's there more. Create a dance move where you will apply different types of waves in one to two minutes. 
record your performance using Android phone or any camera available and send it to Messenger. This is the rubric that will serve as your guide. Oops! Not yet finished! Everyone, look for your most comfortable seat. Then get a sheet of paper and ball pen. Choose the letter of the best answer. And for your reflection about our today's lesson, just click this link. Healthy Reminders class, wear face masks and face shields. Sanitize your hands always. Eat healthy food and drink lots of water. And always pray. Before I end, I want to leave this quotation from a positive thoughts of Robin Robinson. Life is like the ocean, can be calm or still, and rough or rigid, but in the end, it is always beautiful. This is Neri B. Calderon, Teacher 3 of Batangas National High School, Science Department. God bless and stay safe, everyone.